Hey guys, Elkrin here, and today we are here to play some more Binding of Isaac. I just wanted to show this screen to show that um, it's changed a bit. We have this dead heart, or broken heart kind of thing showing now, so that's cool. So, um, I did some quick, I just like did a quick check on what Eden was. I wanted to just be, you know, know why the fuck it said question marks. And basically what I learned from the witty is this guy, I should not play as. Uh, he does not bad. He's very different. You see that thing that says Eden tokens? That's not an item. The only way you are allowed to play as Eden is when you, um, is when you beat Mom. So basically you have to win a game and then you get what's called an Eden token. And every time you win a game, you get to play as this guy. So basically, if I you play as him right now, I can't play as him again until I beat the game again. So in other words, this is not a good character or this is not a character I want to play right now. This is a character I want to play probably last because he, um, I don't want to waste him kind of thing. He's basically like, he could be very good too, though. It's apparently, I'm hearing randomly generate, so he could be godly or terrible. It's random. So, we're gonna go off the demon. We're gonna go off the Zazel. See what he does. Oh my god. Are you serious? Right off the bat, I, wait. Ooh! So, it's a short range version, apparently. I have three black hearts, which is much better than the blue baby. He had like one soul heart or three or something like that, if I remember. And black hearts damage everything in our room, so that's awesome. And, most importantly, I can fucking fly. So that's... That's fucking amazing. <laughs> right there. Cool. So I'm basically a demon. Awesome! That That's fucking awesome. So this is gonna be... An interesting run! The only downside is he doesn't start off an item, but I mean, he doesn't really need to. I mean, just... And I have the fool, too, so... I guess that means... Because I take... Um... Half heart of damage, I could tech or in that one room, you know, the rooms with the spikes, I could technically do that thing, like I could take no damage going in, then I could just use the fool to get out. That sounds awesome. Basically, I can use those rooms for free, so. And this item is very effective close range, actually. What is my damage stat? Three. Maybe two and a half, I'm not really sure what that said. Looked like three, but yeah, that's. That's fucking awesome. Also, this entire fucking basement is in the shape of an upside down. Or no, it just is a cross. I'm not sure if it was an upside down. I was gonna say. That's coincidental. <laughs> so I don't really see the point of those bomb things. They, they just don't seem to do anything, really. Like, I just blow them up and they do their thing. So, yeah. Weird. Alright. Spiders, hi. So I'm gonna see if we can get the shield this time again. Can I actually shoot over rots though? Yeah, I think I can with this. Yes, I can. So I can just honest to God be invincible. That is amazing. Yeah, this is gonna be an awesome character to play as. <laughs> Locked foot though, I don't have that anymore. That is an item to have. At some point I say we should go back to Kane. Just so we can unlock that. Cause the most of the items you unlock are through um what is this? Trail of Tear. Oh, that is going to be helpful. So now I drop these, and that does damage. That, I think I got that, like, in the first run or something like that. Yeah, I did. So that's going to be helpful. But, um... You can only really unlock certain items by playing as certain characters, and Luckfoot is one of them. And Lucky Toe. Lucky Toe is a trinket version of Luckfoot, I think. So... We're going to want that when we can get it. Aw. Poor Azazel. He's crying. Alright, so obviously there are some downsides to charge attacks, obviously, but... Some huge advantage, too. Look at that damage. If the enemy is not too hard, that's pretty awesome. That was some huge damage there. Holy shit. Yeah, Zazel is a big character. And see, that was an insta kill on him. Shit. And from what I read on the wiki, though, I did lead, read a little bit about Azazel. I did not know he could fly and stuff. But he can get health and stuff. Yeah. He can um, get health containers like a normal character, pretty much. So that's awesome. So he actually can technically survive better than the Blue Baby. Much better than the Blue Baby. Because the Blue Baby... Whew, he was... He was a hell of a character to play. He was not easy. I love this attack, though. This is gonna come in real handy. Because it even lasts when it runs out, so it's just, like, perfect. I don't know what the fuck is with my face, but okay, damn. So these kind of enemies are just pointless on me. Because they're mainly close range, and I can just go, Bleh! You're dead. 
And if I could just keep upping my damage too, that would just be crazy. I would just be invincible. These things can't even hurt me. Fuck you, fire. Let's open this. Anarchist book! That will help. For bosses. Take that down. <laughs> See, I don't even have to, like... It's also better than the um, thing where you just puke bullets, because it's like, you know... It lasts to the point where I could technically kill two, as I just kind of showed. So that's awesome. Ooh! I just unlocked a lucky rock. Somehow. For a random bomb going off. So that's... That's awesome! Um... If I remember, that thing makes it so you, like, do increased damage or something, so that's... That's very helpful, actually. We got the item, right? I think we did. Let me just double check. Oh, oh, okay. That was not worth it. I'm a dumbass. I was not looking. Stupid me. Whatever. Too late now, I guess. Alright, it's fine. Because we're only fighting Larry Jr. This is actually our first time fighting Larry Jr. I remember he was very common before. Not anymore, it seems. I guess you have to lose a whole black heart in order to do damage to enemies, so okay. Eat bombs. Bye. Boom! So we took out one of the segments. Sweet! Jeez! Yeah, this guy's just crazy. Evil range plus... Wait, evil range? Oh, no, I think it was just increased range. Okay. Cool. So my fi thing fires fat further now, so that's awesome. Um... Alright, if I remember correctly, that curse basically makes you a ghost, but I can already fly, so there'd be no point in it. There's like a keyhole on that? Oh, but that helps. Thank you. Satan actually gave me a random item. Maybe it has to do with the fact that I'm a demon. Maybe he likes me. But there is actually a keyhole on that statue's head. I think that's normal, I guess, now. That must just be something I didn't notice before. Okay. Down we go. I'd like to actually, um fucking make a donation to myself in this game now. Like, for some reason I feel like it's broke. That's an item. I'm taking it. Shielded Tears. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. It might have just been a terrible item, but whatever. I took it anyway. I do like that the range is up. And I really like that sound of that these lasers make now. They sound so cool. It's like, pew! I can't even, I can't even emulate it. That is so cool. Hello. Bleh! Here we go. But yeah, that is one thing. You technically get better every time you beat the game. Because items get unlocked. And even when you don't beat the game, you just get better. Because I basically better items can be unlocked. Is the whole thing. So that's awesome. And even sometimes, at least in the original game, I'm not sure if that's still a thing now. Um you could unlock items for the beginning characters. Like, starting... Like, you start with an item, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, you can unlock the D20 and the D-whatever for Isaac, which is awesome. So, I think... If they added more of that, it would be awesome. Does that mean even more wins, obviously? Did all of you die. That is an awesome thing. If I lose a heart, the entire room pretty much dies. That's very awesome, actually. Yay. So... It's kind of bad for these fucking things to hurt me. Boom! That's gonna be helpful on bosses and shit, too. This character is actually very good, in my opinion. Ooh. It only did half a heart. Might have not. I'd rather not waste it on these guys. They're not too hard. It's just their range is annoying right now. Don't want to waste the black heart. Alright. I'd much rather lose a black heart in a room full of, like, a thousand of them, you know? That'd be much better. These guys aren't even a threat to me. I'll just be careful. Money! Holy shit, yeah, golden shits. Are much more common in this game, too. Like, they were very rare in the original game. At least, from what I did, anyway. And this, I'm just getting them everywhere. For whatever reason. Pill! Please don't be a bad pill. Bad gas. Not, that wasn't too bad, anyway. It wasn't bad or good, really, in this situation. Would've been good in this room, maybe, but whatever. Cool. Oh, that makes me faster! I forget what the safety cap does. Actually, I think the safety cap decreased damage, so... 
Anti-gravity tears was tears up. Um, what? What? Oh my god! What is that? That is so freaking cool! Okay. That is gonna be helpful. I don't even have to stand still anymore. So I don't know what that does, though, but I do like the fact that this is faster, so screw it. We need speed. Let's go. But this is gonna be helpful, actually. It's like, put that down, then it goes... Pshoo! I mean, I can see some disadvantages, but... I don't know. It seems pretty damn cool, if you ask me. I don't even have to... Basically, I don't even have to stand still. I'll just fire at will. That seems pretty awesome. Alright, let's go fight the boss. Testulence. Awesome. Hey, buddy. Only problem is the range ain't so... isn't so good. But hey, I can just, like, set things up like this. And it'll pretty much just go about its thing. I just have to be careful. I just realized I can go over that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that is such... Yeah, that is very effective. That is a very effective item. See? I can just, like, go away now. That's... That is freaking awesome. Obviously, it has some disadvantages. Like, it won't always hit, but... I don't need it to always hit. So... That's... That's fucking awesome. Yeah, it seems whenever I am Azazel, so far I've just been getting gifts from this guy. So thank you. <laughs> That's the full power brimstone I could unlock right there. Huh. I don't know what that black thing does, but... I want one heart container at all times. I don't want to... I don't know, like, if the game would glitch the fuck out and just kill me, so let's just... Let's not do that. Let's not run out of hearts, okay? Okay, good. I'm glad we're on the same page. Alright. Hi there. This is such a cool ability, though. He, like, opened up, like, a... thing, and it just, like, kills everything. And these enemies aren't even that much of a threat, because if they follow me and I can't hit them, I have the Trail of Tears. So it's like... Ah, fuck. I just got hurt by a dingle. A little dingle. That's embarrassing. But I could have multiple going too, like, see? That's awesome. That is fucking awesome. For some reason it doesn't always hit them though, so that's that's a problem. I, I thought I was gonna be like a pro, but apparently not. That is such a cool ability though, I'm sorry, it really is. This is an upside down cross, I think. No, this is a normal cross, never mind. At the moment. I keep thinking that I'm gonna get an upside down cross. I don't know why. It just seems feels like something game would do, you know. I am noticing that there are some glitches with this brimstone effect. It's a shorter range brimstone, I will say that. So I think there are some bugs that need to be ironed out. That was a waste. But oh well. This game has been out a long time though. You'd think the bugs would be ironed out, but nah. Some games aren't very good with bot fences. <laughs> Not liking how I lost like a full heart thing of heart there. Speed down, really? That is one problem too. I don't have luck foot anymore, so I can get bad things. Unfortunately. Screw it. Bomb everything. Okay, that works. I think that's a bad pill. Yeah, it's no. No, that was a good pill. That was a very good pill. Too bad I don't have any fucking hearts. There we go. I don't even have a key. Why don't I have a key? Anywhere. That's right. That's right. Eat lasers from another dimension. Did they actually- wait, I think they- oh shit, they actually take damage when they go there too. That's awesome. So they take lasers and damage by pro- Wait, they take proximity damage, I just realized, too, so that's- Oh god, that's amazing. I'm not liking the fact that that just happened. Apparently these shits are my worst enemy in this entire game. As this character, which is embarrassing as fuck. Problem is, charge shots are bad for small enemies, because they're small enemies. It's a little harder to hit them. See, like, they just slip away easily. Alright. Range down. That's gonna actually really hurt me. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if that actually did anything, though. It didn't really look like it ranged me down too badly. So that's good, at least. Yeah, I need to be more careful about this place. See, it just, like, sometimes it glitches and it doesn't destroy these things. I don't know why it's doing that. There we go. Okay. Oh, great. Oh, joy, I have him down to one heart. Fuck me. This is very, very tense. What just happened there? How did I get a heart? Somehow I just... Oh, that's right! I have a health regeneration! Oh, shit! If I could just get a second heart, I would be a fucking, like, until a boop. Really? I was having a good run! <sighs> Fuck me. I can't believe that just happened. But it did. <sighs> Fuck me. Dear diary, today I died. I was killed by this thing, a fucking guy with a bone. Unbelievable in some cave. I leave all that I own to my cat Guppy. Poor, poor titty. Goodbye, cruel world. Azazel. I can't believe that just happened. That was atrocious. So, I can see some clear problems with Azazel. Obviously, the fact that if you don't get hard containers, you're pretty much fucked. So, he is a little challenging, actually. I personally like him. I like him a lot. Just the fact that he can fucking fly is pretty damn awesome. But, yeah. So obviously we have Eden and Lazarus to try out. So we're probably going to try out Lazarus because obviously I don't want to waste Eden. So we'll give Lazarus a shot. I'm going to figure out... I'm going to actually look up on the wiki what's so special about Lazarus. Just because I'm curious. I just want to see, like, why... Why he's even a thing. Like... The only character that doesn't start off an item is Isaac and Zazel, and th that's because Azazel, ha Azazel has items, so what's Lazarus' thing? I'm very curious about that, so, yeah. We'll see how that works. But for now, guys, thank you all for watching. This has been Zelkrin, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.